Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday to you all. I know some of you are already on Monday. Unfortunately, we are broadcasting live from the US. And the time here is 2 p.m. Yes, it is exactly 2 p.m. Anyway, thanks to those of you that stay up to watch the show today. Thank you, thank you, thank you many times. You are on Health and Nutrition Talk Show on Buffer TV. I'm Betsy Olaika Falarin, nutrition health expert and an advocate for healthy living. All right, let me take this moment to appreciate those those of you that watched, shared, um, and sent us comments and questions last week and the previous ones on this show. You are all appreciated. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, as usual, we received another tons of questions right after last week's show. Yes. Okay. What are we educating on today? What am I discussing with you today? And I'm sure you can't wait to hear this amazing, educating information I have for you. I'm positive that you can't wait to hear that. But let me share with that with you right after the break. Let's take a break. Welcome back from the break to so Health and Nutrition Fact Show on Buffet TV, if you're just joining us. Today, we are focusing on the influence of testosterone in men. Yes, it's about men today. Is it? <laughs> My goodness. Yes, of course. That is what people basically think or believe when it comes to testosterone. Some believe that testosterone is for men, while estrogen is for women. Because a lot of things that we think is, is true, they are actually mind. Yes, they are not true because they are not scientifically proven. And when it comes to nutrition part, they are not nutritionally proven. But we talk about it. We see it as the real thing. That happened, that should happen. No. I've come to tell you today that if you thought testosterone was only important in men, you will be mistaken. Yes, you will be mistaken because testosterone is produced in the ovaries and adrenal gland. And where do you get the ovaries? From women. It is one of several androgens that is male sex hormones in females. Yes, and these hormones are thought to have important effect on number one, ovarian function, bone strength, and sexual behavior, including normal libido. Although evidence is not conclusive on that. The proper balance between testosterone along with other androgen and estrogen is important for the ovaries to work normally. Yes. I need to protect my eyes from the light. So while testosterone is a male hormone, it plays a vital role in the health of women as well. Yes, women's bodies make and need testosterone as well. However, in significantly lower amount than a male body does. Yes, both males and females produce these hormones in their adrenal gland. I didn't know this. I mean, I have no idea that 
women produced this homo testosterone until the time I took a course from Harvard University Medical School, which gave me access to their online resources. So know this. So the information shared on this show with you on this particular platform are authentic. Everything I share here are authentic. They are real information because they are actually coming. They are being retrieved from the right source. So anything I share with you here, they are either coming from medical or nutrition school online or library resources. Yes, and you must take it serious. If I invest my time in researching to bring to you and tell you this is what can better your life or can prevent you from all these diseases out there, all these health problems, take it, digest it, apply it in your life and see your life becoming better than before. Because that's what it does for me all the time. Now, let me tell you more about this amazing hormone called testosterone. I need to tell you more about it because there's a lot of information on this or more. Yes. What is testosterone? Testosterone is one of the hormones in the body and it is the most important male sex hormone. And the main function of this hormone called testosterone is to stimulate sexual characteristic and sexual function in males because testosterone is a hormone produced primarily in the testicles yes and there's some important roles testosterone play in your body i'll tell you number one is development of the penis and testes next is the, the deepening of the voice during puberty you see many people have very sharp and loud and heavy voice. And some have tiny, slow, quiet, you know, you can't even hear their voices. Testosterone make it possible. It make it happen. And this happened during their puberty time. Next is muscle size and strength. Another one is bone growth and strength. I'm also going to mention sex drive, which is libido. Of course, sperm production is one of it. Fat distribution and lastly, red blood cell production. All these take place in your body. These things I mentioned, they take place in your body. Why? Because testosterone in your body make it possible. Can you now see how important this hormone is in human beings, men especially? In addition to that, testosterone also improves insulin sensitivity. Yes. Now, I need you to know that there is more to testosterone than guys behaving badly because when it comes to testosterone what comes to people's mind are aggression impatience uh type a behavior road ranger violence these and that and this role in bad behavior is likely a might it's a mind because testosterone plays other important roles in health and disease that may surprise you you don't want to you don't want to believe if i tell you for instance testosterone is a key player in prostate cancer some of you will know that because it's related testosterone anything that has to do with down there definitely it has to do with prostate cancer but you have no idea that it's a key player in prostate cancer some of you don't even know 
until today that women need turtle stone too. I know some must have been hearing it somewhere or they have idea before today. But I am 100% sure that not everyone watching this show today know that women need testosterone too. Yes, they believe testosterone is for men and estrogen is for women. The study also revealed that male estrogen levels increases rapidly during male puberty and decreasing after age 35. That is what the study says. I didn't say that. Now, having too much naturally occurring testosterone is not a common problem among men at all. It is not a problem. Because most of what we know about abnormally high testosterone levels in men comes from athletes who use anabolic steroids, testosterone or related hormones to increase muscle mass and athletic performance. If you are an athlete and you are used to using, you know, all these steroids, testosterone, all these hormonal pills and stuff, you will have, you will elevate your testosterone. You have high testosterone. That is a natural thing that happens. Yes. Now, blood levels of testosterone vary dramatically over time and even during the course of a day. In addition, what may seem like the symptoms of testosterone excess may actually be unrelated to this hormone. And what are these symptoms? Symptoms like low sperm count, um, heart muscle damage, and increased risk of heart attack, prostate enlargement with difficulty urinating, liver disease, acne, fluid retention with swelling of the feet and legs. Weight gain may be related in part of increased appetite, high blood pressure and cholesterol. Insomnia, that is sleeplessness. Headaches is one of it. Increased muscle mass is one of it. Increased risk of blood clots is also one of it. That is even serious. Stunted growth in adolescents. Stunted growth means reduced growth. Uncharacteristically aggressive behavior, although this is not clearly proven. The next one is smooth swing. Euphoria. What is euphoria? Euphoria is elevated mood. Irritability is one of it. Impaired judgment is one of the. What is impaired judgment? Impaired judgment is when a person is not being able to make good decision because of an underlying medical problems. For instance, if you have a summer disease or dementia, you can make decisions. That is considered impaired judgment. Next one is environmental factors. Diet or drug alcohol. And lastly, delusion. What is delusion? Delusion is when your thoughts, feelings, and actions are being imposed by someone else or by some other external force. That is what delusions means. You also need to be aware that it is natural for testosterone level to decline as a person ages. But there are steps that they can take to slow and perhaps reverse the process. And among women, Maybe the most common cause of a high testosterone level is polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. This disease is common and it affects 6% to 10% of pre-menopausal women. The ovaries of, of women with PCOS contain multiple cysts and the symptoms include irregular period, reduced fertility, 
um, excess or coaxial on the face, extremity, trunk, and pubic area. Male pattern baldness, darkened, thick skin, weight gain, depression, and anxiety. These are the symptoms for women with PCOS. Women with high testosterone levels due to their disease or drug use may experience a decrease in breast large size and deepening of the voice. In addition to many of the problems men may have. Yes. The good news is treatments are available for these problems. Of course, medically, we always have treatment for them. Medical problem, any health issue, medically, there is a, prob a, a, a treatment for them. But we advocate for prevention or natural treatment on this platform. That is the reason why I'm coming here every time taking my time to get the right information for you so that you can prevent it. If you don't know the problem, you won't find solution. You need to know the problem. That is the reason why I told you all you need to know before I tell you the solution, which is the prevention or treatment. Yes, I always tell you what that issue is, the cause, before I can tell you either the treatment or the prevention, if you don't have it. Yes. We just finished talking about high testosterone now. That is elevated testosterone. Now, let me tell you what happens when your testosterone is low. Because we have high, we have low. And our advert flyer says, what happens if testosterone is high or low? That is what the flyer says. So let me tell you what happens if your testosterone is low. And I'm actually talking to males on this show. And whoever that is going to watch this show after, this is for you. If you see the signs, if you feel the signs, or you see the signs that I mentioned on this show, related to either low or high. Now I'm on low testosterone, all right? Now, what happens if your testosterone is low? Testosterone is vital to a man's overall health and well-being. Don't forget that. You can rule that out. And low levels of testosterone can affect body composition unfavorably. And as people age, reduced testosterone level can also cause health problems. Like I said earlier, Testosterone level generally peak during adolescent and early adulthood. As you age, your testosterone level gradually declines, typically about 1% a year after age 30 or 40. For older men, it is important to determine if a low testosterone level is due to normal aging or if it is due to a disease, a disease called hypogenodism. This disease hampers the ability to produce normal amount of testosterone due to a problem with the testicles or with the pituitary glands that control the testicle. What is pituitary glands? It's in the brain. Every part of your body connects each other. Of course, anything that happens in the body must be controlled by your head. Now, many people believe that a naturally declining testosterone level causes the signs and symptoms of aging. We believe some people believe that. The question is: is it true? It is not necessarily mean that when you when you are aging, that means your testosterone is declining. No. Because men can have many signs and symptoms as they age. Yes. And when you are aging, if it is not testosterone declining, you will see signs of aging, like appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, 
uh, dullness of skin, uneven skin, or dry skin, all these are signs of aging. If you are having low testosterone, you will see all these signs. That should tell you that this is not sign of aging. If you see all the signs that I've mentioned, whether from uh, coming from low or high testosterone, it means it has to do with testosterone. But when you see all these signs that I mentioned, which is dull of the um, dullness of the skin, uh, uneven skin, and so on, that is signs of aging. But as a result of lower testosterone level, things like changes in sexual function might occur, such as reduced sexual desire, fewer spontaneous erections, such as during sleep and infertility. Um, physical changes can also happen, which includes increased body fat, reduced muscle uh, strength, uh, also decreased bone density swelling or tender breast and body hair loss can be a physical change signs. Yes, when you have the lower testosterone levels, signs like that can happen. Also, the person might have um, um, less energy than he used to. Yes, yeah, your energy may reduce. Things you have been doing before, you just discover that you can't do them no more. You can carry 50 pounds of things, but now you cannot even carry 20. So the energy is no more there. That can be the signs of lower testosterone levels. Yes. Low testosterone in a man can cause emotional changes that can contribute to a decrease a decrease in motivation or self-confidence too. Yes, you might feel uh, sad or depressed or have trouble concentrating or remembering things. This is emotional changes you will experience. Yes, basically you have emotional changes, physical changes and changes in sexual function. This is what you will see if you are experiencing lower testosterone levels. However, some of these signs and symptoms can be caused by other factors, including medication side effects, thyroid problems, diabetes, and depression, obstructive sleep apnea. What is that? That is sensation of breathing, especially during sleep. When you snore, let me buy home by ah, oh, this food more jumpy than in your sauce. Yes, this is the problem. Yes, and these apnea are caused because of obstruction and narrowing of the trachea. All these hormones they cause all this problem. Yes, instead of us to just take care of it on time. We don't pay attention to what happens to us sometimes. And the situation the, the gets worse every day. It wasn't every day. Yes. It means these signs and symptoms you think are caused by low testosterone can be caused by any other factors. And this is the reason why you need to go for a medical test. For diagnosis to better determine what the problem is. You need to know the problem before you apply solution. When you have the result of the diagnosis, if you are if you are diagnosed, you will get the result of what actually go wrong in your body. What is happening in your body? They will diagnose it. Once you know that, that is when you apply the treatment. If you need to do the surgery, they will tell you. If it's just medication, they will tell you. If it, you just need to correct it with diet, they will tell you. Because some of you, you are just going from one place to another from one doctor. And what you need is just to correct your diet. Correct what is in your plate. That is what many people need. It has happened to me. I'm a living witness. 
I've been to several doctors when I have acne, bad one. We call it non-infectious skin disease. Acne, if you see the bad one. I've been to doctors several times thinking my, my solution is there. I couldn't see one doctor that can help me with that. I found the solution to that problem myself by correcting what is in my place. Yes, I changed my diet and I've spent so much thinking that my solution, my healing lies in one of those doctors out there and it's not. So I'm telling you today that some of you are going through problems, health problems you think it doesn't even matter. It's not, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal because by the time it will become worse, that is when you will know it's a big deal. Why don't you prevent it now? Why don't you take care of it now before it becomes unbearable? Things that will take the fortune from you. It will take all you have in your life to cure it or to treat it. Yes. Now, if diagnosis says low testosterone, the treatment might result in increase of testosterone levels. If you are still young, but before the treatment, a blood test is recommended to diagnose a low testosterone level. If any test is not performed, carry out. If they don't run a test on you to know whether it's low or high, no treatment should be applied. No medication should be administered. Nothing should be done. You need to know what the problem is. First, since men's testosterone level gradually declines as they age, can testosterone therapy promote youth and vitality? The study answered that. It says, testosterone therapy can help reverse the effects of hypogonadism. But no research says testosterone therapy would work for older men who are otherwise healthy. It means if you are older than that age range, testosterone therapy may not likely work for you. Yes. Why? Because there are various risks attached to that. And number one risk of testosterone therapy is it worsens sleep apnea. It also causes acne or other skin reactions, even if you are not using skincare. It also stimulates non cancerous growth of the prostate and growth of existing prostate cancer. Next one is it enlarges breast in men. It also limits sperm production or causes testicles to shrink. And lastly, it stimulates too much red blood cell production, which contribute to increased risk of forming a blood clot. And these blood clots could break loose travel through your bloodstream and lodge in your lungs, blocking blood flow, which we call pulmonary embolism. Now, let's talk about how you can boost your testosterone naturally. We don't want to add chemicals. We don't want to do surgery. We don't want to do therapy. We don't want to apply patches. We don't want to take steroids. We want to do it naturally. Yes. How do we do this? Of course, this is what we preach on this show. This is what we advocate for on this show. Prevention. That is the first thing 
we talked about on this show. And that's the reason why this show is alive. Yes. So let's talk about it. Because we all know that drug companies promote products that are supposed to increase testosterone. And while this might help some people, they may also slow down the body's ability to naturally produce testosterone. Why? Because they have chemicals in it. Almost everything we, we, we eat, everything we swallow, as in medication, are chemicals. They are all chemicals. They are not, of course, they have apps, they have plants. All these medications are made with these apps, plants, you know, roots and stuff. But they are fortified. They are refined. They are, they, they, they are produced, adding chemicals with them. And that is why they are not effective. If they are effective, if this medication, this medicine really works, why are these diabetic patients, why are they being placed on the medication for the rest of their lives? If this medication works, because when I was in my pharmacology class, I was, I was, I was pissed off with the information I gathered in that class. That was the day I made up my mind that apart from these supplements made with apps, I'm not going to take any medication because they are not effective. They, they, they cause more damage. They cause more arms to our body than good they're supposed to do to that body. Yes. And nobody is thinking about it. Nobody is reasoning to that direction. We are just swallowing, 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 take this pill. If my mother, when she was alive, of course, she takes supplements. When my mother select all the supplements, the truth about all these medications is they are not without risks. They are they, they have too much risk going on with all this medication. They all have side effects on the body. And the best way is to naturally boost your testosterone if you are considering doing so. Now, let's talk about how you can naturally boost your testosterone. You want to make sure you get enough sleep to get your testosterone function correctly. Because lack of sleep can adversely affect the levels of hormones and chemicals that the body needs to function correctly, including testosterone. You also want to maintain a balanced diet. You need it. And let me tell you this. If your diet is balanced, you are 0% likely to have any health issue going on in your life. If you eat good, you are not at risk of any health problem. I'm telling you this. This is real. This is the truth. The best diets are ones that include mostly whole food and offer a healthful balance of fat, carbohydrate, uh, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Why? Because eating a healthful and nutritious diet can keep all the most levels in the body balanced and promote optimal long-term health. This is the reason why you must eat healthy. You also want to lower your testosterone naturally by losing weight, staying active, reducing stress, avoiding drugs and alcohol abuse. And when it comes to diet, you want to focus on vitamin and supplements. Yes, yes. such as vitamin D. 
And you can get that vitamin D from salmon and other fatty fishes. You can also get it from fortified milk or cereal products. All these are source of vitamin D. Yes. And of course, minerals like magnesium and zinc can prevent a decline in testosterone level. Yes. Now, magnesium-rich food will include whole grains and dark leafy grains. I've taught you on this show. We have two types of vegetables. We have leafy vegetables. We have uh, colorful vegetables. The leafy vegetables are collard grain, uh, kale, uh, spinach, uh, water leaf, sage leaf, um, what else? Juit leaf, eh, we do chocotete, and so on. These are leafy green vegetables. And when it comes to colorful vegetables, there are carrot, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, um, to a pepe, and so on. So you want to experiment on all these, both the, the colorful one and the leafy vegetable to get your, you know, uh, your vitamins and minerals from that. Now, why zinc is also an important ingredient in dark greens? You also want to experiment on that to get your zinc from grain, from flaxseed, and pumpkin seeds. This will give you zinc. All this food that I mentioned will give you zinc. And lastly, you want to review medication. You don't just want to get your medication from your doctor, take it home and start swallowing it, eating it. No, you want to read the instructions. You want to go online and research and see the side effect, the good part and the bad part you're getting from that medication. That is what we mean by review medications. And some of these medications do harm than the good in your body. The reason why you are taking it is to, you know, treat, to bring things to either reduce or cure. But they are doing more arms. They are killing one for you. They are resurrecting another problem in your body. This problem may not be significantly, you know, showing in your body. But trust me, they will show up in the future. You know the reason why you want to review medication? You want to review medication because even though prescription medication help manage a variety of health conditions, they are one of the most common reasons for low testosterone if you don't review the medication prescribed for you. Yes. Now, if you are now thinking testosterone therapy might be right for you, you need to talk to your doctor about the risk and benefit because there's no medication without risk and benefit. So you need to review it before you can say, yes, give me this prescription. Let's do this procedure. I want to go through this surgery. You need to do the review first. Yes. If you consider this, if you want to go for this, type of treatment, which is testosterone therapy. Your doctor will likely measure your testosterone levels at least twice before recommending testosterone therapy for you. Your doctor will not just give you the prescription on that. He will review it, he will test it, he will make sure that, yes, you need it. But medically, we don't want to advise people to go for it. Yes, medically, treating normal aging with testosterone therapy is not advisable. Yes. If you are, you know, getting older and that aging, testosterone is the cause of that your aging. It is a natural thing. You don't have to reverse it. You don't have to do anything. Then to do it naturally. 
applying medical chemicals, things that like that will definitely upset you, which I've said earlier. Yes, it is not advisable, especially if you don't have a medical condition that is contributing to your decline in testosterone levels. Your doctor might suggest natural ways to boost your testosterone, such as losing weight and increasing muscle mass through ex resistance exercise. That's all we can share with you today on Health and Nutrition Talk Show on Buffer TV. Please join us next week for another information on health and nutrition. I'm Buffer, a health and nutrition expert advocating for healthy living. I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Have a good night. Bye.